Hello chaps, John with you again and we're doing another update. Yep, another update. Update number three. Yep, on the uh, on the Bedford QLR from IBG models. Um, if anybody's asking where's update two, update two is on uh, this week's bum. Yep, it's been on the bum. So uh, we've done update one, two and this is now update three. Uh, beautiful kit, fabulous fit. Uh, what more can I say? What more can I say? Um, I've had no problems with it whatsoever. So let's uh, get down to the bench. We'll have a look at it before I start rambling on about weird things. We'll have a look at it and I'll show you what I'm doing to it and then show you what I'm going to do to it. Okay. Right, I suppose we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Um, I have the construction of it. What's it? What? 99.9% .9 of it done. It's just um, a case of assembling all the bits that I've made, shall we say, that is all to go on to. There's no more parts to be cut off the sprue to go on. Um, everything is either on or ready to go on, if you can get you catch me this, you know what I'm talking about. Because that's good, because I have the faintest idea. But anyway, what have we got done? Right, we've got the, uh, the main chassis done. Got the engine installed, the wheels are on, um, drive shafts, all that is all done, okay. And as you'll see in a minute, it's a, it's an absolute fabulous fit, okay. Right, we've got the uh, the radios and the uh, telephone, the PABX thing there. All that was that was there just attached it there left it on that for ease of painting yes I can hold that, hold that with a, a clip down and then get them sprayed up so that's easy enough okay so there's our radios and things we've got the boxes which I showed in the um, on Monday's bum um, they go they get mounted up and under the, uh, the the main body of the truck underneath okay so we've got two at each side with a, one of these little baskety things okay so there's uh they're ready to go on we've got our roof of the uh the radio cab okay the inside of it painted and it's screen we'll go into that now in a few minutes and we have the uh the roof of the uh the cab the driver's cab itself okay and if you look here i got a bit of um i use a bit of tissue and I use super glue on it, so it's actually quite quite solid. Okay, and it'll give you not give me a nice texture. And that texture now is going to be um, canvas. So the canvas cover over the uh, over the, the hole. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get the, all that painted up as well. So there's plenty of painting to do. Plenty of painting to do. All right, we've got our um, spare wheel and our um, fuel, and in the bum I had this wheel the other way around I said sure it doesn't really matter and it turns out that it does it does matter <laughs> so I had to kind of pop it off and, and glue, glue it on so lucky enough that uh, it wasn't a piece that was um, hard to get off or I had to go you know cutting to get it off or anything like that just fit it on the top so it was easy enough to, to pop it off and re reattach it in that position okay because the um, the back here where the uh, it gets attached to the back of the cab so I needed to change that around so I did you know we're not, we're not all sort of uh, perfect <laughs> definitely not me anyway so I just give another little bit of light here into this right I got the base color down on the insides of that right I'm after using uh, a nice light green okay and what I actually used for that was uh, cockpit green okay which is a Tamiya color XF71 cockpit green okay and it's a nice light green because the outside was going to be olive drab so it's going to be quite dark and I used NATO brown on the uh, on the where that is that's flat but um, I used NATO brown there we go NATO brown so I suppose I should have had these ready beforehand Later Brown XF68 as a base color for the uh, the three tables. Okay, um, 
I'm going to try and do a uh, sort of a to try and get a wood grain effect, you know, to make it a little bit more wood looking on that. So, one or two things I want to try, I give it a go. If it doesn't work, we can always paint it back over it again. But I'll give them a try and give them a go and see how they go. Okay, um, I have one of the doors on. Um, this was all had to be built up here. And like I said, like I said, an absolute beautiful fit. Everything was just. It, it just fitted nicely, it really, really did. Um, underneath, we've got our cable reels, okay. Uh, the step ladder into the back of it. Um, and it, it, when it comes to fit, it is an absolute perfect, perfect fit. So we just um, we'll just pop it on here for the crack. One second. This bit goes on here first. Okay, that goes there and that goes there. That's how you figure out where where things go. There's li nice little uh, locators, but they're not. Um, you know, it doesn't really hold the thing in place. It just gives you a good location as to where to stick your glue. Right, so we you know where that going there. Once that fits on, that'll hold that. How good is that? All right, and then this piece then fits in here. Okay, and there's our uh, spare wheel and fuel and things like that. Right, so that's the fit so far, and now we get onto the cab. And I've got the cab together, um, nice and square. I was really, really chuffed with how square I got that because the last couple of cabs that I have done um, shall we say the bloody total disasters <laughs> total disasters I had to get a bit of advice Simon helped me out and things like that and the main thing is really not to actually use a quick setting glue when you're getting this all set up and square use a slow setting glue so you can fiddle around and you know manipulate it into a nice square box then tape it into place so the glue sets then and it you know take your time with it <coughs> excuse me but there's a cab anyway all done up okay lights wing mirrors and this one here was after moving during the drying process so i better try and fix that uh, straighten it up um at the inside of the cab painted up okay as you can see we to see can i get another little bit of light into that right there we go you see our clocks steering wheel our seats there's a fire extinguisher back there we've got our um, gear levers and the transfer for the uh, four wheel drive and all that kind of stuff they're all in there and everything else so the inside is painted so I'm happy enough with that um, and that just fits absolutely perfect onto the Okay, absolutely perfect fit. Look at that. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely job all together. So then we're gonna have our our, our, our roofs or roofs and there we go. So as you can see from dry fitting, I mean I can lift that from from there. And as you can see from the dry fitting that that is an absolute fabulous, fabulous fit. Um, a beautiful kit, absolutely beautiful kit. So the next step for me, what's the next step for me? Now that I got out that all together and I'm quite happy with it, I'll tip away with the painting, get the painting done on that, and I'm, then it's onto the dial, getting starting on the uh, the surplus uh, models diorama in a box from Simon Kemp, and uh, I'm going to give that a go, and we'll get that started as well. So soon. But I'd say give it another couple of weeks and we'll have the whole thing finished with the dio and the truck in front of the dio or on it. Okay. So the dio is a kind of a display base that you can use for anything. Um, when we get into it we'll explain uh, how you don't actually have to follow and make that because there's enough in the box to make variations on that set, you know, dio that that Simon made on his channel even though it's giving you the blocks for that 
there's other ones included as well if you want to change it up yourself slightly so it's actually quite good i'm looking forward to getting into uh, stuck into building that but anyway that's the update on this okay the bedford qlr okay we're getting there we're nearly finished and um, the construction of it is done um absolutely beautiful kit absolutely beautiful kit fit wise um engineering wise mold plastic um everything absolutely everything was perfect on it so i couldn't uh, couldn't fault it in any way so that's it lads for this uh, update we'll catch you again uh, on future updates don't forget to watch monday's boom we'll probably have another update on that um don't forget to sort of join us in the hangout yeah join us on the hangout we've got a hangout uh all you gotta do is get over there to 135th scale diorama builds on facebook um join the group um, as to join you be there's not no big uh, secret in the uh, you know no sorry you don't have to go to any sort of uh, rituals or anything to join um apply to join we clicked on then you can the link comes up on the uh, on the di on the on the facebook page it's there the whole time um so you can just sort of click in or out whenever you feel like it and it's not always about modeling it's sometimes we have an old chat and slag each other and stuff okay we have a good crack so anyway that's it lads we'll catch you soon enough uh don't forget enjoy your modeling that's the most important thing of it of all and uh go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it this is john signing off i'll catch you soon stay safe <laughs>